Hi, my name is Mrs. Kathy and this is K5Tunes.com. Today we're going to be looking at the beginning steps of drum lessons. Now, many of you probably signed up for drums because you think that drums is the easiest instrument. And it's true that every instrument has some easy parts and some not so easy parts. So when you go into drumming, think about it like this. Think about the fact that you will have to practice as much as the other students that have maybe a flute or a clarinet or saxophone, trumpet or trombone. You can't learn everything that you need to learn by just coming to school with your drumsticks and your book in hand. You have to practice at home. Uh, today I'm going to be teaching you a little bit about how to hold the drumsticks and the various methods. Also, where your drum pad should be when you're practicing at home or at school. Now, the most ideal thing is for you to have a drum pad that sits on maybe a cymbal stand or it has its own stand. Today, however, we have just a black music stand that you can find at school and this will work with most of you as well. And I have the drum pad that just simply sits on the top of a snare drum. The reason that we start you out with a drum pad is because, as you know, drums are very loud and the drum pad is a good way for you to begin the process of understanding where the beat lies and where the rhythms are in the particular song that you're practicing. So I want to make sure that you understand that your drum pad is just the beginning portion of your drum experience. Later we'll graduate to a snare drum. You'll still be standing while you play the snare drum. Snare drums many times will come with a drum kit and that's when you sit so you want to make sure that your, the stand that goes with your drum that you'll be using at school is one that you can raise so that it's at the right level when you stand because you won't be sitting and playing at the elementary level. I have this stand slightly below my waist and that's the perfect place for you to be able to have your drum pad and so if your teacher has a black stand that you can put it place it on that's a better situation than if you were going to put it on a very low table where you're having to drum very very low. Now you can choose a variety of sticks and you should probably choose the stick that feels the best in your hand. There are lots of different sizes and I brought two today because you can kind of see that one of them, one set, is, is quite a bit fatter than another set. The diameter um, is fatter. And for my hands, I like the thinner ones, but maybe you like the thicker ones. It doesn't really matter. Um, when you go to the music store, the salesperson will help you determine maybe what stick might be better for you. And when you get more advanced, they'll be rolling your sticks and making sure that they're even and, and evenly weighted and all that. But for now, the most important thing is to make sure that you feel comfortable holding the stick. So I'm going to set these other sticks aside for now. There are basically two different kinds of grip. And one grip is what we call matched grip. That means that when you look at the person that both hands are facing down and they're pretty much matched. The other grip is what we call traditional grip. And that's where one hand is facing up and the other hand is facing down. Your teacher will let you know which grip that they want you to incorporate in your learning the lesson about drums, but today I'm going to show you basically the traditional grip because the traditional grip is a little bit more difficult to start with, but in the end um, it'll be very easy to, for you to switch over to match grip if you have a teacher that wants you to play it that way. We're going to start with the right hand stick, the right hand stick. Uh, and by the way, both sticks are the same, so when I say right hand, it just means the stick that you might be picking up for that particular hand. And you're going to pick it up, and you're going to see that we're going to pick it up a third of the way up. If you think about dividing the stick into thirds. So we have one third, another third, another third. And so we're going to pick up the stick about a third of the way up from the bottom edge. This is the top edge, the tip is the top edge. And I'm picking up the stick using only two fingers, just my thumb and my first finger. And the place where I'm making sure that the stick connects is right in this little crease, right here. I don't want to pick up the stick with my the tips of my fingers. I want to pick it up so that it's right in this crease. You want to pick it up at the third bottom portion of the stick and 
then you're going to gently wrap your other fingers around it. The control of the stick is actually going to come from both where you are connecting with the stick and also back here. But this is actually not going to be a steady grip back here. This is the steady grip right here. And so you're going to let the stick bounce as you hit. You're not going to just let it sit right here. You're going to let it bounce. And so watch what happens. I'm going to let it bounce. Notice what happens in the back of my hand here. I'm over exaggerating a little bit, but this part is staying stable and this part is releasing and picking back up as I let the stick bounce. So you can think about it like this. This is a really good exercise for you to make sure that your stick is bouncing. So the trick is to only let it bounce once and then pick it back up with your back fingers. Let it bounce once. Once again, I'm over exaggerating the back part of my fingers. When you get better, you won't be exaggerating that so much, but I'm letting you see what I'm doing. So this is double bounce. Don't let it double bounce. That'll come later. Okay? So what you want to do is listen to as much music as possible so that you can just practice that particular stick with any beat that you want in terms of one, two, three, or four. We don't want to get fancy right now. We're just kind of doing the basics. So we're going to want to go one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. When you get better, you can do it like this. One, two, three, four. Or maybe you want to go on two and four. One, two, three, four. But it's always the same grip. Now, I want to go on with the left hand. The left hand we pick up, remember we're going to be doing the traditional grip today. If your teacher wants you to do match grip, you do exactly the same thing. Pick it up a third of the way. Your back fingers are slightly connecting, but they're not, they don't stay tight. But for traditional grip, you actually take your stick, and once again, a third of the way up, and you place it right here in the crook of, between your thumb and your first finger. And that's where you're going to be actually grabbing the stick. And then the rest of the stick goes between your third and fourth finger. This is where the connection is made all the time. You don't lose grip of that, but then the control will be here. And this hand then stays up as opposed to turning over like this. So this hand, you're going to be doing the same thing and you're going to be releasing, having the stick bounce one time and then picking it back up. So you're going to be releasing, and once again, it's the back fingers that help release it and pick it back up. And once again, I'm over-exaggerating so that you can see that finger. Now once again, you don't want to do this, where you're just hitting on the drum pad, but you're letting it bounce. So let's see if I'm bouncing it. Ah, that's many bounces. This hasn't changed. This is still gripping. This is one reason why... For me personally, I have a hard time with, there goes a stick, I have a hard time with, I have a really hard time with gripping the larger stick. Maybe my hands aren't strong enough to really grip that stick and you might have the same problem. So I want to grip it with, I want to grip this smaller stick. It just feels better to me. So I'm going to let it bounce and then pick it back up. Let it bounce, pick it back up. You'll need to practice this grip between the right hand and the left hand several times before you put them together. After you've practiced several times, then you can put them together. Remember that the right stick, pick it up here, the back fingers control, the left stick, pick it up here, it's gripped here, the back fingers control, and then you want to do the same thing with your beats. One, two, three, Four, letting it bounce. Two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two. Or you can get a little fancy and go one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And we'll talk more about how we don't want to use our whole hand, but we use our wrist to make some adjustments here. So thank you very much for watching k5tunes.com, and we'll see you next time.